It came from beyond our solar system, a mysterious wanderer streaking through the cosmic dark. It went behind the sun, but now it has reappeared. The interstellar visitor has returned, but it's strangely glowing brighter. Pulsing with strange energy after its trip behind the sun, astronomers are baffled. What is this all about? Our next report telling you. Today is November 1st, 2025. The moment of truth for 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. After weeks behind the sun, it re-emerges. If it's off course, brighter, or delayed, it could challenge everything we know about comets. This isn't science fiction. It's real data unfolding now. And it starts with one question. Did it maneuver? Arrival of the interstellar visitor. On July 1st, 2025, the Atlas Telescope in Chile, part of a global early warning system for near-Earth objects, spotted something strange. It wasn't just another icy rock tracing a lazy orbit around our sun. This object was different. Its path was unmistakably hyperbolic, meaning it wasn't bound by the sun's gravity. It was leaving, fast. Astronomers quickly confirmed the impossible. This was only the third interstellar object ever detected now named 3E-ATLAS, after the telescope that found it. It follows 1I-Aumuamua, discovered in 2017, and 2-Borisov in 2019. But unlike the others, Atlas has arrived with better timing, better visibility, and a sharper mystery. It's screaming into our system from the direction of Sagittarius, near the Milky Way's thick disk traveling faster than almost anything we've tracked before. Its speed and angle suggest it was born in another star system, possibly billions of years ago, and flung across the galaxy by some distant gravitational chaos. The chance to see such an object up close? Almost unheard of. One astronomer put it simply, every interstellar visitor is a message in a bottle from another solar system. But this bottle may carry more than a message. As it raced sunward, 3i slash A T L A S began showing signs that didn't quite fit the textbook picture of a comet. Subtle chemical clues, unusual brightness patterns, and an erratic coma structure. These are already raising questions. Is this just an alien snowball or something much stranger? And that brings us to today, because this object isn't staying long. As of November 1st, it has just rounded the sun, reaching its closest point, perihelion at a distance of 1.4 astronomical units, around 210 million kilometers. Now begins the crucial phase, observing what it does next. What should be a calm, predictable departure might instead become the moment that rewrites our understanding of these rare cosmic messengers. It's not just about where it came from, one observer said. It's about whether it leaves the way it's supposed to. This is where the story shifts. Baseline scenario, what science expects. According to all known models, 3i slash ATLAS should now begin a quiet retreat. After passing perihelion on October 29th to 30th, its energy has peaked. Its tail, energized by solar heat, will start to dim. The coma, that glowing cloud of gas and dust, should fade slowly. Its position, velocity, and brightness should track exactly what physics predicts for a natural object on a hyperbolic escape trajectory. By December 19th, it will make its closest pass to Earth, but even that won't bring it particularly close. At roughly 1.8 astronomical units, about 270 million kilometers, it'll be a faint smudge in the sky, somewhere between magnitude 16 and 18, visible only through mid-sized telescopes under dark skies. Nothing dramatic, nothing out of place. Behind the scenes, observatories are already logging precise data, they're checking the comet's position to within milliard seconds, tiny angular measurements that can show if anything is off. Normally, you'd expect tiny residuals, 20 to 40 milliard seconds at most, especially after the blackout period, when sunlight makes the object temporarily invisible. These are the normal margins of error for any comet. And so far, that's the plan. No sudden shifts, no weird brightening, no trajectory changes, just gravity doing what gravity always does. As one astronomer put it, the boring answer is usually the right one. But this is the baseline, the control group. Every possible anomaly, every radical theory, 
Every whispered suggestion that this might be something else is judged against this standard. And if anything diverges, even slightly, the whole narrative begins to unravel. Because if the numbers don't line up, someone or something didn't follow the script. We are not looking for UFOs, one researcher clarified. We're looking for unexplained data. That's where real discovery happens. And that's why November 1st matters so much, because now the real-time comparisons begin. Why today, November 1st, matters, the turning point. November 1st, 2025. That's not just another day on the calendar. It's the first opportunity for astronomers to begin the crucial post-perihelion watch. The moment when 3i-ATLAS exits the sun's glare and enters visibility again. What it does now will decide which way the story turns. Predictable fade, or something else entirely. For the last several days, the comet has been invisible, lost in the solar blackout, when sunlight overpowers any attempts at observation. But now the glare begins to ease, and telescopes across both hemispheres are trained on the sky, waiting. This is when anomalies, if they exist, will show themselves. If Atlas comes back on track, in the precise location predicted by its earlier trajectory, it confirms everything we expect from a natural visitor. But if it's even slightly off course, if it's brighter than it should be, or fails to appear at all, that opens the door to new physics, or possibly non-natural behavior. Observers around the world have established what's called a binary gate. Either ATLAS follows the projected arc, or it doesn't. There is no middle ground. The precision of modern ephemerides is so sharp that even a 0.01 kilometers per second nudge would be noticed. A comet that's off by just 10 to 30 arc seconds would raise immediate red flags. The community is ready. From major observatories like JWST and Vera C. Rubin, to small university scopes and amateur astronomers, everyone is watching the sky. Search grids have been divided, timelines synchronized. The first who spots it can trigger global recalculations. Today is the day the models face reality, said one planetary scientist, and reality always has the last word. This isn't a slow burn. If anything is different, the signs will show within hours to days. Data will start coming in, brightness curves, angular positions, velocity checks, and within a week, we'll know if the comet is where it's supposed to be, or if it's doing something it absolutely shouldn't. Composition and anomalies, clues from the data. Before Atlas even reached the sun, scientists were already puzzled by its composition. Observations by Hubble, JWST, and SphereX revealed something strange. The comet is unusually rich in carbon dioxide. In fact, CO2 was more dominant than water vapor, which is extremely rare for comets, especially in our solar system. That alone caught attention, but it didn't stop there. As the comet approached, its coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus, started to behave oddly. It was active earlier than expected, and the structure of its tail changed in ways that didn't match normal sublimation patterns. Observers reported shifts in shape, brightness, and jet activity that hinted at non-standard outgassing. Size estimates from Hubble suggest the nucleus is no larger than 5.6 kilometers, but it could be smaller. That's compact, but not insignificant, enough to generate the outgassing we're seeing. But the timing and intensity, still a bit off. It's not that it's unnatural, said a NASA comet specialist. It's just not behaving the way most comets do. These differences don't automatically mean the object is artificial or controlled, but they do mean it's unusual. And in science, unusual is worth watching. In fact, the anomalies are what keep this comet under such intense scrutiny. Every unexpected element, from chemical makeup to light curve behavior, becomes a clue in a much bigger puzzle. One that could redefine our assumptions about what interstellar comets are made of, how they form, and what they can do. This is where things move from curiosity to confrontation, because if the materials, energy release, and trajectory shifts line up in a certain way, well, we may be looking at more than just a rock from another star. Nature doesn't always follow our rules, an astronomer remarked, but if it breaks too many, we have to ask who or what wrote them. And with that, the focus shifts toward the boldest theory yet. 
the idea that ATLAS might not be drifting, but maneuvering. The engineered hypothesis, challenge to the consensus. Some theories sound impossible, yet science tests them anyway. A small group led by Avi Loeb has suggested that 3i slash ATLAS might not just be drifting past the sun, but could have made a controlled maneuver at perihelion, a real change in direction. The boldest version proposes a 37 kilometers per second reversal toward Earth. That's nearly 10 times the velocity change of any spacecraft ever built, far beyond natural comet activity. A milder idea suggests a 1.2 kilometers per second push, redirecting it toward Jupiter, setting up a distant encounter years from now. Both require immense energy. Such an impulse would vaporize much of the comet's surface. The fuel mass alone would equal the comet itself. The point isn't that it happened, but that if it did, we'd see unmistakable evidence. A sudden brightness spike, a focused dust jet, and a trajectory jump far larger than natural noise. The universe doesn't owe us easy explanations, one scientist said. It only owes us the chance to check. Now, as November 1st begins the global watch, astronomers are ready. If Atlas stays on track, the idea dies. If not, the story changes. What observers are watching for? Now that 3i slash ATLAS is visible again, Astronomers are watching closely. They're not guessing. They know what signs matter. First is brightness. As the comet moves away from the sun, it should fade. If it suddenly brightens, even briefly, that could signal unusual activity or something more. Second, astrometric residuals. Small differences between the comet's predicted and actual position. Normally, these stay within tens of millier seconds. A jump to arc seconds would be major and unmistakable. Third, reacquisition timing. Atlas should reappear by mid-November. If it's late or off track, even by 10 to 30 arc seconds, that's a red flag. A change of just 0.01 kilometers per second at perihelion could cause such a shift. Fourth, non-gravitational acceleration. Comets often move slightly from gas release, but if the effect is larger than expected, it could hint at unknown forces or even artificial behavior. Every data point tells a story, said one observatory team. We just have to be quiet enough to listen. This watch isn't just for professionals. Amateurs, schools, and software users are also tracking. Together, they're helping answer the big question. Is Atlas drifting naturally or steering with purpose? Tools, networks, and global watch. The search for 3i slash ATLAS isn't isolated. It's global. A network of scientists, amateurs, and automated systems are all watching this fast-moving visitor with unmatched focus. Leading the charge are major observatories, the Hubble Space Telescope, James Webb, and ground-based giants like Gemini North, Gemini South, and the VLT. These instruments detect the faintest shifts, essential for spotting any deviation. Then there's the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, using its ELSST to scan vast portions of the sky nightly. Its updates feed directly into public tracking systems. If Atlas slips off course, it'll be noticed. But it's not just the professionals. Amateur astronomers with tools like Stellarium and Sky Safari, and even smartphone-connected scopes, are contributing real data. The boundary between expert and enthusiast is smaller than ever. You don't need a PhD to join the watch, said one Arizona observer. You just need curiosity and a clear sky. Observation grids are divided by longitude and latitude for full coverage. Real-time alerts are in place. If a single team detects an anomaly, others verify it within minutes. That's the power of global coordination. This is the kind of teamwork you only see when something rare is on the line, one researcher said. Every observation, a flicker of light, a shift in position, enters a shared archive, open, searchable, transparent. Now, the question isn't if we can find ATLAS, it's whether its behavior still makes sense. And if it doesn't, the entire world will know, together. The alternative destination, Jupiter or nothing. What if 3i slash ATLAS didn't reverse toward Earth, but slightly redirected toward Jupiter? This scenario, though less dramatic, is still bold. 
A 1.2 kilometers per second nudge at perihelion could steer its path toward the outer solar system. It wouldn't be visible right away, but over weeks, its predicted position would start to drift, enough to raise eyebrows. Here, the geometry matters. During perihelion, Earth and Atlas are separated by the Sun. A direct path is blocked, but Jupiter lies outbound. A small push in that direction makes sense. Even a whisper of a push at the right moment can change the destination, said one orbital expert. Why does this matter? Because if it's heading somewhere, it suggests more than chance. Maybe not artificial, but not random either. A directed trajectory implies intention, or at least non-standard dynamics. If that offset grows, astrometric models will split and force us to ask hard questions. Is this a natural outlier or a signal of something we don't yet understand? Comets aren't just visitors, a scientist said. Sometimes they're couriers. If Jupiter is the new destination, then we still have time to watch, refine, and maybe to witness something extraordinary unfold in the years ahead. Cultural and scientific significance. There's something about 3i slash A T L A S that stirs more than science. It's not just data, it's meaning. This object, born billions of years ago in a far off star nursery, has crossed the vast Milky Way to briefly share our sky. Only two other confirmed interstellar visitors, Aumuamua and Borisov, have done this. Now Atlas arrives during a rare event, from January 6th to 10th, 2026, six planets, Mars, Venus, Mercury, the Sun, Earth, and Jupiter will align along the ecliptic. And threading between them, Atlas, a cosmic messenger among familiar giants. It recalls the Carrington event of 1859, when planetary alignments and solar storms captivated imaginations. The emotion is similar now, that something beyond us is passing through. Once in a century, the sky arranges itself to remind us we're not alone. Whether or not ATLAS shifts course, its presence matters. It's not brightness we chase, it's significance. A traveler from another system framed in a moment of cosmic symmetry. A story shared not in silence, but in collective watchfulness. The universe rarely sends messages, but when it does, it writes them in the sky. Decision point, proving everyone wrong. November 1st, 2025. The day the sky speaks back. Will 3i slash A T L A S follow its expected path or surprise us all? If it returns exactly where models predict, it's a win for established science. A natural comet fading on a hyperbolic escape. But if it appears off course, brighter, or late, something fundamental shifts. Not toward fantasy, but toward discovery. It's not about what you believe, said a planetary scientist. It's about whether the sky agrees with you. This is the scientific method in motion. No theory survives without data. Whether it's an engineered object, unknown physics, or just nature doing something new, it has to show up in the numbers. Across the globe, telescopes are locked in. Large observatories, university teams, amateurs, all watching the same patch of sky, waiting for confirmation or contradiction. Even if it fades quietly, one observer said, We'll remember the night we waited for something impossible and looked up anyway. Whatever comes next, ATLAS has already changed us. The sky has our attention. Now, it answers. Whether 3i slash ATLAS stays on track or veers off, today marks a turning point. It either confirms the rules or rewrites them. For scientists, sky watchers, and skeptics alike, November 1st is no longer just a date. It's the day we asked the sky a hard question and waited for its answer.